It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burp and we're on our way to old Thrifty Pants Thrift Giant over in the colony for a little toy hunt. We're gonna head over there and see what kind of goodies they got. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. And uh, we are gonna be on the hunt for vintage toys today. So anything 70s, 80s, 90s. And if we happen to see some cool modern toys along the way, we'll definitely get those too. But uh, anyway, I'll see you there in just a few minutes. All right, let's see what they got. So what's this here? We got ourselves a T-Rex. Wonder if he actually works. It's got a little button down here. Uh, doesn't seem like it. He's pretty cool though. Yeah, this fire truck. This is one of those things though that is not a toy. It's just like a home decor piece. But man, that is that is pretty cool. You could probably fit 3.75 inch figures in there. We got a Paw Patrol boat. Some sort of a tractor and trailer Paw Patrol. Oh, check this out. We got ourselves a Black Ranger. And what's down here? We got a Safari adventures truck oh we got like this little vampirina let's see can we turn it on does she light up does she got batteries she does not that's cute though and we've got a trolls lunch box a veggie tails drum what else oh look at this we got this uh Little baby Groot for uh, it's like a potted for potted plant. Oh, that's fun. You got a creepy ass doll head, man. That thing is that thing is ugly. I got some baby dolls over here. Some Barbies are on the scene, and we have like a little baby Elsa or something, and uh, Elsa's sister, right? I think I don't remember. Put your skirt down, girl. Oh, we got some NASCAR Christmas ornaments over here. Oh, whoa, check these things out. We got some Forces of Destiny. Ray's weapon. Wow, that is cool. I wonder if these things are worth anything. How much they want for it. Almost thirteen dollars, twelve ninety one. All right, well, I'm gonna look into this. Well, it turns out that these are selling for about twelve dollars on eBay, so we're gonna pass on this. But these are pretty cool, man. I mean, I know they're supposed to be like for girls, but as a dude, I would definitely play with that. Oh, uh, we got an Infinity game piece, some Star Wars. What's this? <laughs> that is awesome crazy cat lady action figure i am getting this for caroline caroline has like she loves cats she doesn't have a cat we don't have any pets unfortunately i'm allergic to animals um but she always says that like she's like a crazy cat lady <laughs> so i think i'm gonna get this for her that is awesome Hey, and this thing recently sold for like 21 bucks. I can get it for 359. So even if Caroline doesn't want it, I can always flip it or I might just keep it and use it in some different like diorama type settings, uh, some action figure photography. So, all right, well, let's get, uh, let's get this. Oh, check this out. City Runner. Is it remote control? Yeah, it looks like it's like remote control. I like the uh, I like the vibrant colors on it. Oh, check out this little Olivia action figure. Three fifty nine for that too, huh? Hmm. I'll look into this. All right. So I haven't seen any of her actually sold on eBay, but there are a ton of listings with her at like between thirty and forty dollars. Nobody's buying them at that price, but. If people think it's worth that much, maybe eventually it can become worth that much. So I think we're gonna pick this up 
What's funny is that she's Olivia, the pet doctor. And we've got crazy cat lady that probably needs to take her cats to the vet at some point. So these two will go good together. I'm gonna grab it. They only want, uh, again, $3.59 for it, so why not? Ooh, check out this dude. Oh, look, he's got a rattle. Wonder if it rattles. Oh yeah, it does. It's not very loud though. And you would think they would have given him like, like a diamond back, you know, it'd make him a diamond back rattler. <laughs> a little jump scare. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, we got a flash plushy. Anybody up for some Bible games? Now oh, check this dude out. He is different. Let's see, has he got a tag on him? Multi Brink Co Coco Rico 2011. Man, who is this dude? All right, so it turns out this is some sort of Hispanic or Mexican like character, I guess. Um, I looked him up on eBay. There's a few of him listed, but only like there's only like one or two that even look like him at all. And the listing says he's rare. None of them have been sold in the last 90 days. But they want $3.99 for him. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Olivia back and I'm gonna grab this guy. <laughs> Just think he's neat. So um all right, I'm gonna get him and the crazy cat lady. Check out the Mickey Dracula plush. He's got some stains over here. And also down here, also looks like he's got like cat hair or something on him, but he's kinda cool, man. He's big too, dang. And what is this? Oh, it's a bank. So we got the frog bank, we got some emojis. Is, uh, what are those called, maracas or something? Like our maracos? All right, y'all, I got my haul. Let's head to the car. It's not that far. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. All right, guys, it's time for show and tell. All right, first up, we got the crazy cat lady. Ooh, crazy kitty over here. So, yeah, like I said, uh, Caroline loves cats. I thought, man, this might be kind of just funny to give this to her. She probably won't want it at all. But, oh, look, like her pegs are like coming out of her arms or something like that. She doesn't seem like she's put together too well. But, uh, yeah, I, anyway, I'll give this to Caroline, see what she thinks. If she doesn't want it, I'll either just keep it or flip it. And then we got this dude. I think he's cool. I like, I love toys that are like part plush, part plastic. You know, he's got this hard, something like this soft, hard plastic head, soft, hard. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, I thought he was kind of cool. He kind of reminds me of like a, a knockoff or a bootleg howdy doody. You know, he's got these, uh, these freckles over here on his face and, uh, he needs a name. I was thinking about calling him Teddy. Because he could be like Teddy the Thrifter, you know, kind of like the Drifter, Teddy the Thrifter, or Toy Hunting Teddy. So anyway, I think I might just call you that, dude. Your oh yeah, your official name is Teddy, Teddy Thrifter. So I need to get you like a what you got for me today, Goody Will T-shirt or something like that. So anyway, we got this guy and my boy Teddy. He's gonna be riding shotgun with me. Right over here. Oh, we gotta get you strapped in, Teddy. Ugh. Gonna get you strapped in, boy. All right, I'll sit there and behave. All right, so up next, we're gonna go hit up the thrift store and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the thrift store. <laughs> All right, so let's head in here. We're gonna check this glass case and we're gonna rummage through some bags. We'll check the shelves and Maybe, just maybe, we'll find some vintage toys today. Let's do this. All right, what do we got in this glass case? So we got some Marvel figures, some Lego, and looks like little bear figurines. 
there's a Superman in that bag. Actually, I think that's Bizarro Superman. Hmm. What do they want for that? Seven bucks for the bag. And it's got a bunch of this other crap in it. I might ask to see that though. All right, in the meantime, let's rummage through some bags. All right, what do we got here? Some Mickey D's toys, a tiger, a blaster. All right, what's in this bag? We got some Space Jam, a lizard, and nothing else. All right, what do we got here? We got some sort of dino. And it looks like he's got different points of articulation, but I'm not really interested in that. And what's this dude? Oh, we got some sort of bug. It looks like he might be like a wind-up. Yeah, he's a wind-up, but he's like broken. Must be some sort of McDonald's toy. Oh, what do we got here? What are these guys? They look old. Yeah, these guys look vintage. But I have no idea who they are. There's a whole bunch of them. What do we want for the bag? Three bucks? Well, we might actually get this. These guys are interesting. I don't know who they are, but there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's at least six of them in there. And we've got a bag with cars. There's like a donut truck. <laughs> Some sort of mud truck, type of truck you take out mudding. What's down here? Uh, what is this? Uh, Rangers, Captain. I don't know what that says. Something Captain. Uh, we got this dude here. A bag full of junk. And we got some like bowling pins that like are in the shape of animals, a bear, a cat. It looks like Clifford the dog. <laughs> I just kicked this thing. It's a shark. And what's in this bag? We got a bunch of tiny little critters in here. got a bag full of dinos. Oh, there's like a flying dragon. That's pretty cool. And we got a mech suit here. I like that. Too bad it didn't have its arms. And what's this? Looks like a vintage strawberry shortcake. Yeah, no, it's from 1982. And we've got some Jurassic Park stuff. Oh, look, I've got a big old T-Rex. Yeah, I've got a couple of these at the house already that I need to sell, so I don't really need to get another one. Need to move those other ones first. Oh, look at this. I actually just bought one of these that I didn't have. Uh, the one I got didn't have the droid in it. But, uh, yeah, I think this thing sells, if I remember. I think it sells for about 30 bucks. Oh, man, I've had, like, I've had, like, two of these in my possession at one point. I sold them both, but they actually take, they took a little while to move. And if I remember, I think I sold them for, like, 20 or 25 bucks. Three ninety three four dollars that's actually not bad. Oh, this pack here is not too bad. We got this girl scuba diver. We got the dude. We got this scuba diving wetsuit. Well, it's not really a wetsuit. It's like a big old tank. <laughs> and then we got some sharks in there. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, these guys are falling out. <laughs> um, I'm not really interested in this, but 
it is a neat uh neat set man that's gonna make some kid happy oh there's like a space jam elmer fudd in there whatever these things are yeah i don't know what those guys are and they've got a lot of toys behind the counter here doesn't look like anything i would want but i am going to ask to see that bizarro superman all right well here he is hmm. seven bucks for the bag it's kind of cool looking though all right y'all i got my haul let's head to the car it's not that far, it's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. So uh, real quick, I didn't get the Superman. I looked him up and I saw like in the box he sells for like 12 bucks. They wanted seven for the bag and that was for him loose. So I was like, man, as cool as he is, I don't want to pay that price for him. If the bag were 2 dollars that'd be a different story, but I did get these little figures. Maybe you guys can help me out who they are. All right, here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of them. And I have no idea who they are. There's no markings on them. This guy back here kind of looks like Archie from the Archie comics. But yeah, so I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me out. They like... They look like they're a little older, maybe like early 2000s or something like that. This guy's got like some sort of gas mask on. I don't know if he's like a, a fireman possibly. Maybe they're all firemen. I don't know. Is this guy like the police chief possibly? Anyway, I don't know. They're pretty cool though. If you guys can help me out in the comments below, if you know exactly who these people are, I would love to know. All right, up next, we're gonna go hit up a Goodie Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. How you like, uh, how you like my disguise? Yeah, Spider-Man, Spider-Burf. Yes, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Burf. So yeah, these were in the bag as well. And then also like there was like this little figure. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it might be something Pokemon related. There's also, there was also this Smurf. I've got a bag of Smurfs at the house that I need to like flip on eBay or something like that. I've got like eight or nine Smurfs. So I'll just add him to it. And then uh, check this out. It's Mr. Crab. He's making some Krabby Patties. <laughs> so anyway, all right, guys, off to the Goody Wheel. All right, my friends, we are here. We are here. We are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. So let's head in there. We'll check the glass case, and then we'll go look on the shelves and check the plushy section. See what we can pull out of this bad boy. All right, we got a model kit. Don't ever buy them if they're open because you don't know if the pieces are missing. Oh, this is cool. I've got one of these, not this exact one. That's a nice one. All right, well, we got a grave digger that's missing a wheel. What do the shelves have for us? Looks like a busted up car down here. <sighs> this is like some sort of is that like a Buzz Lightyear what is that a Buzz Lightyear vehicle I know that's not a Buzz Lightyear I meant to say is that a Buzz Lightyear vehicle <laughs> man I'm not seeing anything and the plushie section looks pretty weak I don't know who this dude is alright y'all Busted at the Goody Wheel. All right, last stop of the day, we're gonna go hit up Craptastic Sam's, AKA Plaza Thrift. Should it be Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Sam's? It's funny, I just always call it Craptastic Sam's. So, but yeah, we're gonna go hit that up, see what kind of goodies they got, and maybe we'll finish strong for the day. All right, my friends, last stop of the day, final destination, Plaza Thrift, Craptastic Sam's. All right, guys, we're gonna head in here. We're gonna do the huge. We'll check the glass case. We'll check the shelves and maybe rummage through some bags. You know, it's like the last several times I've been here, their bag game has been weak. So 
Hopefully they got a restock. All right, anything in here? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's see what these shelves have to offer. All right, well, what do we got? Oh, what's this? Ah, okay, do you guys remember the Jurassic Park plush I found a little while back? He actually had a hard head. This goes to that, I think. I think it's the same line. Yeah, 19, 1997. All right, well, now we got him a buddy. We'll definitely pick this up. And he's only a buck 91. How awesome is that? What else do we got? What's this thing? Uh, looks like it turns into some sort of dinosaur or something. And we got a Black Panther. Dang, that is a lot of tennis balls. <laughs> Look at all those tennis balls. What do we got over here? Dino and some junk. We got a snake in here. And looks like we've got a military jeep. That's kind of cool looking. Anything down here? What's this? Oh, just a figurine. Bag of junk. Well, there's like a cool looking tank right there. I don't know what that is actually. And there's a helicopter. And a jet fighter. And some sort of little alien looking dude. Hey, it's Bobblehead Ollie from Ollie's Bargain Outlet. All right, guys, I got the Dino Plush. Let's do a quick little show and tell and wrap things up. All right, well, here he is. So I paid a buck 91 for him, and I don't think he's worth a whole lot of money, but it's cool that I have another plush in this line to go with the first dinosaur I found at Craptastic Sam's like a month ago. So it's funny how these things tend to pop up on the shelves months apart from each other you know i've had that happen before where i found a particular line of toys and then like a month or two weeks later i find other parts to that so for example like the 1994 uh adventure castle playset the fisher price adventure castle playset i found the castle and then like three weeks later i found all the figures at the same location so yeah i think he's pretty cool well, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That really helps me out. Helps my channel grow. Helps my channel grow. So if you could help me grow, <laughs> that would be fantastic. I would love you to like the end of time. So also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos on the channel that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.